America's industrial heritage is preserved on this site in the brownfields of Bethlehem Steel. Hi, Amy. Hi, Mike. How are you? I feel like I've just walked into a time capsule. I've gone back into the past. What is the uh, Im importance of having it on the site of Bethlehem Steel? Bethlehem Steel was responsible in many ways for the building, transporting, and defending America. Uh, they built the railroads, they built the bridges, you name it, Bethlehem Steel had a hand in it. And so um, as industry is shifting away, making things is shifting away from America, it's really important for us to remember where we came from and how we got to be where we are. We treat this building as sort of our first artifact and we um, designed this space so that people would really understand that they were in a factory. Um, this crane is one of um, over a thousand that had been on the site and right now it's the only one that the public can see um, uh, in its sort of true state of how it would be used. Amy, I'm ready. Let's start the tour. Okay, but before we go in, you have to clock in at the time clock. Uh-oh. This is the original ceiling. This is the original ceiling. Amy, there's so many interesting things in this part of the museum. Uh, what is this? <laughs> um, this is a model of the original Corliss steam engine that was in the 1876 Centennial in Philadelphia. And this piece powered all the machines in the display. This is our Corliss steam engine. It was built in 1914 instead of in the 1870s. And hopefully one day we want to be able to have it um, moving two, three times a year for, so people could see how it worked. So before I show you anything else in this gallery, I want to show you some of our interactives. Um, this is our flywheel interactive. So what you're doing is you're going to be showing how many horsepower you can create. My car's got 300 horsepower. It's a good thing I don't have to crank it. I wouldn't get there. <laughs> so this whole line of machines actually works together. And then this steam engine would connect to the pulleys in the line shafting, and each of the pulleys then would connect down to the machines on their pulleys, and that would power them. You know, it's amazing the job they do, how complex they are when you, you figure they're over 100 years old. It is, and actually many of these um, machines are still similar to the machines that are used today. The biggest change is that instead of having a line shafting power them, their motors are now contained in each individual machine. You know, when you see this, you really see America at its best, and certainly uh, the great creativity of America. We really feel like this museum has an important role not only in sharing our industrial past but connecting to the innovation that is happening in America today and inspiring we hope a new generation of inventors entrepreneurs and innovators a lot better than uh, just learning about it in the classroom you actually get to see it feel it and experience it Amy thank you so very very much I'm going to go play with some of those interactive toys and why don't you make your plans to be right here at the National Museum of Industrial History. We had a blast creating this video. If you loved it too and want to see more, give this video a thumbs up. And click the subscribe button for more.